Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking shut up. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, here in Glasgow. Delighted to be joined by Jack Turner. Jack, it seems like I've not seen you for years, mate. What have you been up to? It's been a minute, mate. Uh, typical boxer, just training, training, training. 365, so I just getting on with it. Get on with it, man. There's no bigger fight for you right now in your professional career. You're fighting for a Scottish title against the man that's in the ring right now. You're probably going to get a little scout and report on him there, Andy Tam. Um, how are you feeling ahead of this fight? I mean, like I said, it's the biggest fight of your career so far. I know, listen, feeling amazing, like I said in there, no stone's been left unturned, so for me it's just going there, see if I show up, then it's, it's an easy night, do you know what I mean, so I always, as I said, always respect my opponent, so I've got mad respect for Andy, but on the night I know I'll be victorious. thing is, well, like, when you get two Scottish fighters that are hungry, and especially when that Scottish title on the line, a Scottish title to an Englishman or anyone else doesn't mean much, but to you, fighting somebody from like your hometown, in a huge event in the Brayhead with Ricky Bonds and Real Lim- Limander's main events. I mean, does it get much bigger for you, does it, right now? No, definitely not. That's why I was, I was absolutely buzzing when this car got announced because that's what it's like. Do you know what I mean? We're getting the chance. It's not a wee small hole show. We're getting the chance to showcase our skills on a big platform. So, massive shout out to Ricky and Molly for putting this on and all the promoters getting this done because, like you said, two Scottish fighters, we've known each other for the amateurs. Do you know what I mean? We've been around the world together. So, it's great to get in there and just I'm going to put on a clinical performance and get to work. So, I'm looking forward to it. You've, you've travelled the world, you've been amateurs, um, you're friends, like I say, you've probably sparred many, many rounds as well. I mean, how do, you, how, how do you, as a fighter, Jack Turner, as a fighter, how do you put that friendship aside to go in there and try and hurt somebody you like? It's a hurt business, isn't it? That's it. It's a hurt business, so there's no really any friends in there. Listen, see, my granny was around the ring, it would be the same in scenario, she's getting it, do you know what I mean? So, until that, after that bell and before that bell, there's all respect, but in the middle of that ring, and it, when it's go time, it's, uh, it's hurt business. That's it. For that first bell to the last bell, it's a hurt business. At the end, you can hug and shake hands at the end of it. There can only be one winner. And that being said, Andy's a good good operator. You're a good operator. I mean, how do you win this fight? Um, for me, I think it's just been clinical in my boxing. And then, really, kind of, I've seen Andy, and I know, no disrespect to him, I know he's not got much power. So I think for me, putting on the front foot and kind of pushing him back and not allowing it to work, I think uh, I think that'll be a big knock-on effect when he feels the power. And I think he'll maybe want to get himself kind of out of there if I don't get him out of there there'll uh, be something else that's there for you maybe have to step in <laughs> I've, got, I've got to say as well now you've got Ricky Bonds and Ray Lemon now look at these two these two are going to take a back step and this is fireworks that's going to be fight but can, can, can you and Andy steal the show? Oh, 100% listen I, I've said that to everybody listen I know it's going to be a great fight do you know what I mean with Willie and, and Ricky but listen man I'm going to be the standout I know for a fact I want to put on a, a clinical performance where everybody goes who's that wee guy in there do you know what I mean so I, I'm looking to steal the show well, let's talk about the main event then. Can, can you pick a winner in this one? Are you sat on the fence? Listen, I know they go for him really well, right? But I'm just, I'm going to have to go with my honesty and I think Ricky's, I think Ricky will win it. Uh, I think, I think Willie just with long layoffs and obviously can, he can back and hit a fight, but not fighting at the level Ricky's been staying at and, and boxing at. I just think, I think Willie's, I think Willie's going to be the man, but listen, I, I love Lim, I love Willie and all that. Uh, sorry, Ricky's going to be the man, but I love Willie to bits as well, do you know what I mean? So it's hard because it's two years Scottish idols growing up fighting each other so for me I'm, I'm going to have to go Ricky Listen, I'm sitting on the fence I mean I love the guys way too much I can't pick a winner and I can't because if I did one I'm going to smack me but listen you're a fighter you can see what you want Jack but listen Andy Tam's in the ring right now I believe there's going to be a face off between you two so if you want the views you know we shot for me but if not play respect but listen Jack thank you so much brother I'll speak to you soon thank you brother Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2 Sunday August the 13th with me Coogan Cassius and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up and you fucking shut up.